Everyone knows Hollywood loves making sequels, which is why there are literally eight different versions of Rocky. While some films become a franchise, there are others that are left to stand on their own, despite fan demand. Who hasn't wondered what the dude from Big Lebowski is up to, or longed for a sixth element? From sci-fi classics to cult comedies, here are ten movie sequels fans are still waiting for. The Big Lebowski when Lebowski was released in 1998, it quickly gained a cult following. There's the annual Lebowski Fest, where fans dress up as their favorite characters and drink white Russians. Then there's Dudism, a religion based on the ideology of Jeff Bridges' iconic character. The film's influence on pop culture is undeniable, so why no sequel? Apparently, Bridges would be on board, but the idea has been shot down by the Coen brothers. But that's just like their opinion, man. Donnie Darko The film that launched a thousand theories, Donnie Darko is mysterious, dark and haunting. While the spin-off, focusing on Darko's sister, was made in 2009, there was no involvement with creator Richard Kelly or much of the creative team. Maybe Guy in a Bunny Suit made them do it. Darko fans deserve a real sequel, one that captures the creepiness and alienation of the original film. But we have to wait until the world ends? Let's hope not. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World one of the most creative comic book to film translations, Scott Pilgrim has definitely earned enough one-ups to warrant a sequel. It masters the art of being funny, sad, real, and surreal at a manic pace. While the film didn't wow anyone at the box office, it later found a passionate fan base that now includes midnight screenings and its own video game. Mary Elizabeth Winstead, who played Ramona, has said a sequel is unlikely, but that hasn't stopped fans from wanting more. Fight Club we all know the first two rules of Fight Club are specific instructions to not talk about Fight Club, yet we're still talking about it 17 years later. Based on the novel by Chuck Palahniuk, the film was an immediate, well, hit. The film's anti-consumerism message is as relevant as ever, and new fans are finding the film every year. Polinick has written a sequel in the form of a comic book, but a movie version has yet to happen. The biggest problem? Edward Norton is not interested. Brad Pitt says he's on board, but a sequel without Norton would be certain mayhem. Fifth Element A film that has its share of haters, Fifth Element rocked the box office and led to its own novel and video game. Despite being divisive, no one can deny its popularity and influence. There were rumors of a sequel titled Mr. Shadow, but director Luc Besson says that was never the plan, although he might make another film in the same genre. That means if we want an actual sequel, we might have to wait until the 23rd century. Reservoir Dogs Quentin Tarantino's first feature was an instant classic when it was released almost 25 years ago. But given that Tarantino has said he will likely only make 10 films, it's unlikely a sequel will happen. Still, that doesn't mean he hasn't thought about it as much as we have. The director said he's imagined a sequel that involves the Vega brothers, Vin from Pulp Fiction and Vic from Reservoir Dogs. It's too bad it probably won't go beyond an awesome idea. But whatever Tarantino does next will be just as boss. Buffy the Vampire Slayer Let's face it, the film version of Buffy sucks. Joss Whedon, Buffy's creator and also the current master of the Marvel Universe, has repeatedly expressed his unhappiness with the way the film was made. While we got seven sweet seasons of the TV show, a spinoff with Angel, and Buffy comic books and video games, some fans still want the kind of film a heroine like Buffy Summers deserves. And although there's no current talk of that happening, virtually everyone involved with the TV show has said they would not do a film without Whedon. That's the kind of loyalty you'd expect from the Slayer. Birdman. Haunting, complex, and so meta, Birdman won the Best Picture Oscar in 2014. A sequel might be forced to answer some of the open-ended questions at the end of the film, but a prequel would be pretty sweet. Who would want to see Michael Keaton's Birdman in his heyday? As long as he's making the long-awaited Beetlejuice 2, he might as well keep the sequels coming. Blade Runner. It's been almost 35 years, but a sequel or prequel to Blade Runner is still in demand. Fans of the film have clamored for more since its release, and the material is there. There are three authorized novels that continue the action in the film. In 2009, director Ridley Scott said a prequel was in the works, but that project failed to launch. Bud Yorkin and Chris Nolan also expressed interest in continuing the story. Then, in 2015, it was announced a sequel would be made with Harrison Ford, Robin Wright, Ryan Gosling, and no Ridley Scott. It's slated for release in 2018, but with so many false starts, will it happen, or will we need a genetically engineered replicant of Scott to make it happen? Inception 
Everyone's favorite reality-questioning espionage thriller, Inception, collectively blew our minds in 2010. Director Chris Nolan obviously isn't afraid of sequels, given the Dark Knight trilogy, and has said that he imagined the Inception universe as a place where a lot of other stories could take place. So when should we buy our IMAX 3D tickets? Not so fast. He also says he hasn't given much thought to it. I guess the idea of a sequel is in limbo. There you have it. Those are our 10 sequels fans are still waiting for. What are yours? Or share your wish list and thoughts below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest.